The reading is from Mark chapter 8, beginning at verse 27, reading to verse 38. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning and welcome to this companion video that we produce each week to help prepare us for Sunday worship, to read the scripture that will be focused upon in our worship this coming Sunday. And it's a goodie because it has to do with Jesus' confrontation of one of the best, the Apostle Peter, who would later become disciple uh, turned apostle, but Jesus called Peter Satan, which literally means adversary, because Peter was being adversarial. He was accosting Jesus verbally for something Jesus said about Jesus' progression from Messiah to crucified Messiah, a Messiah that had to suffer. Peter didn't like that language, and he berated Jesus, and in turn, Jesus told him that he was being adversarial. In the James passage that we'll hear on Sunday, it talks about the wildfire, not in British Columbia or in the Pacific Northwest, but the wildfire that is because of the tongue. The tongue unleashes wildfire when we allow it to run rampant, when we allow it to spread cancerous insults, when we allow our tongue to not come from a heart of faith, but from our opinions, from our disjointed, unleashed, critique of one another. A wildfire is dangerous, whether it is an actual fire or whether it is what the tongue does to us, to our hearts, to each other. And so 
I'd like to pray a prayer about our own sense of tongue toxins, which we'll also hear about on Sunday. May we pray? O oh God, still within me, the raging conflict that often comes to fruition in what I say with my tongue. My tongue becomes a cancer that tears down others, even sometimes that we may never know or never encounter. But our words are like rapid fire, meant to hurt and to harm, meant to tear down. And so arrest within us the cancer that our tongues can cause. Allow our tongues to be used by you only for good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you on Sunday.